It is okay. Okay. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. All right. So, uh, hello everyone again. Uh, I'm Vladimir Sotnikov from GS Brains, and on, on behalf of Nikita Petrov, I present you the talk "Search for Optimal Deep Neural Architecture for Gamma Ray Search at Cascada." So, the first is our motivation. Uh, Gamma astronomy enters uh, Pervatron era. We have detected uh, Pervatron photons, and based on um, what, what what we know about them, it is expected that Cascada archive data contains uh, Pervatrons as well, uh, because the ex exposure of Cascada is about uh, fifty percent of the one of uh, so, so pro it is very likely that we could find uh, pervatrons there if we will search enough. That's why we are developing modern deep learning uh, architectures to solve the task. So the data from Cascada uh, consists of uh, raw data from detectors, arrays, uh, electromagnetic deposits and muon deposits, as well as their arrival times, and uh, which are 16 by 16 uh, matrices, and also a set of reconstructed features, uh, say energy, zenith and azimuth angles of the primary particles, show their core position, etc. So we have both Monte Carlo simulations and uh, experimental data presented on the slide. Uh, which contain roughly, the, uh, which have roughly the same uh, parameters, you could uh, compare them visually. And uh, we have developed multiple uh, neural network architecture to understand which one suits our task the best. So the first one is um, self-attention multilayer perceptron, which uses uh, well, self-attention mechanism. So basically that's the same uh, perceptron with the, the addition of uh, self-attention layers after after each fully connected layer and uh, the rationale between behind this decision in is that uh, the data uh, that we are receiving from Cascade is relatively sparse and also it's uh, especially uh, it, it, it's not specially invariant, so we could try to uh, exploit some of this information using self-attention mechanism to give uh, to uh, attend to some parts of the matrix and to give higher weights on it. Uh, and another slightly similar architecture is compact convolutional transformer, which is an architecture that evolved. Uh, from from language model, uh, neural networks are originally designed for processing text data, not not the images. Uh, so the compact convolutional transformer uh, tokenizes uh, some uh, subparts of of the uh, input image of the input matrix matrix, and then uh, in this in the same uh, similarly to the, the original transformer models, it performs uh, it performs self-attention given the position of each of these uh, each each of part of token which, which resembles the part of the image and uh, produces the uh, embedding layer that we will uh, use for for predicting. The class of the uh, primary particle, be it a proton or, or a photon. And another, also slightly similar architecture, is uh, the graph convolutional network, which takes the uh, input data as a graph. It takes uh, irregularities, uh, well, special irregularities into account. So first of all, it, it takes into attention the distances between each detector, and uh, given that, uh, uh, well, Cascada have a cutout of 
four by four in the center, and also some of its detectors uh, are not ideally aligned to like to the grid grid shape. Uh, we could try to provide th this data to model explicitly as a distances between between the detectors uh, to also uh, exploit again the spatial information, but in another way using using similar but another approach. And if you will try to compare all these models uh, next to each other, we will see that they are uh, some somewhat similar. So the key difference between like between these three models is that they actually uh, process uh, input data differently. So for the self attention model, this uh, it, it takes just a one D array of um, all the detectors. Uh, the self attention model doesn't need to know about uh, like the structure of the of the grid. It doesn't know to, it doesn't need to know that it was a sixteen by sixteen grid because during the learning phase, uh, it should like learn the contents of particular deposits throughout the attention layer, and uh, a convolutional. Uh, compact convolutional transformer uh, takes these images, uh, takes the input data as an image like of uh, two, two channels, 16 by 16 image, and uh, gr graph convolutional network takes takes them as a uh, graph. And uh, there are some evidences that actually the, these uh, models, like on the deep. Uh, on the underlying math level, they are isomorphic to each, to each other, so, somewhat, so, so transformers could be presented uh, as a graph neural networks. But uh, uh, from from the development perspective, they are uh, quite different because they process the data differently. And uh, well, uh, compact convolutional transformer is partially invariant because it takes uh, patches of images like four, four by four from 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 the input data, and it uh, applies positional encodings to encodings to each of these batches. So they uh, so the what what's inside of this patch is invariant, while this, the patches themselves are not. And uh, both self attention and graph neural network model are not. Are not Invariant, they, they take positional uh, information as a part of the input. They all have similar amount of parameters, but graph neural network uh, requires a bit more uh, operations like vector prediction. But uh, the difference is well is negligible. And uh, preliminary results we have here look very promising. So. Uh, all, all of the models uh, have uh, good performance, on, like in, in high energy spectra. Uh, the issue that we could see here is the lack of uh, by, by the lack of Monte Carlo background. So we, it's hard to us to uh, carefully to, to estimate the amount of well the uh, to carefully estimate uh, suppression rate because the uh, amount of simulated data isn't high enough for us uh, the model most of well the models basically filter all, all of the background we have so we can measure this carefully but but uh, well the fact that they do that uh, makes us optimistic and that's basically it. So we, we have developed a pipeline for uh, searching gammas at Cascade. So it's the full pipeline from training the model to relating it on the uh, unblinding path of the experimental data. And uh, we have tested different architectures, uh, convolutional net self attention and graph approaches uh, to gamma ray search. And at this point, we need more simulation to uh, 
more more carefully evaluate our models and understand uh, which one is the best and what are like weak and strong sides of them. But basically, they have like, a good agreement between experimental data and simulations. Uh, on simulations, we also have a very like low rate of predicted photons, which is well, which is a sanity check tell us that uh, the model's results uh, look adequate. Uh, that's it. Thank you.